In this video, we'll be going over how to install, configure, and license DTM. To download DTM, you'll need to navigate to our website, www.trianglemicroworks.com. From here, you'll need to log in or register an account with us. After that, you'll be taken to the products page. You can download any product you own or download evaluations for any of our other products. Click on Distributed Test Manager and your download will begin. During the install, you'll see this window. It is used to configure DTM service, network, and licensing. If you've already installed DTM and you need to reconfigure it, you can always access this window by opening DTM Administrator, clicking Tools, then Configure DTM Services. It can also be launched directly as DTM Configuration Tool. DTM can be used to distribute large simulated systems across multiple computers. This is what's configured on the first tab. The first radio button will configure your PC as a DTM Master. A DTM Master is the licensed DTM computer that allows all other machines in the network to communicate with it. The second radio button will configure your PC as a DTM slave. DTM slaves do not need to be licensed, but must be connected to a DTM master. These machines are used as extra resources for your simulations. DTM slaves are not required, but for very large system tests or network traffic tests, they can be very helpful. When configuring a DTM slave, you must provide the IP address of the DTM master. You can also launch the License Manager from here, but we'll get back to that later. The second tab is Adapters. The first drop-down box will select a DTM adapter. This adapter will be used to communicate DTM-specific data like communications between the DTM master and slaves. This can be helpful when trying to separate traffic, for example, DTM traffic from corporate network traffic or DTM traffic from protocol communications. The second drop-down box is 61850 specific. This will allow you to select a default Goose adapter, which is used for broadcasting Goose messages across a network. The last tab I'll be talking about today is the Service tab. This tab allows you to decide whether you want to run DTM services as Windows Console applications or in the background as Windows services. Console applications allow you to monitor background processes like DT Manager and DT Control, while Windows services will hide these away. You can start and stop DTM services from here as well. This is how I generally launch my DTM services on my slave PCs. The last thing we'll be talking about in this video is licensing DTM. If you don't have a license, don't worry. We'll automatically provide you a temporary license when you install, so you may trial our software. If you do have a license, you can launch the licensing window during the install by clicking Manage License from the Service Configuration window. You can also access licensing from DTM Administrator by going to Help Manage Licensing. You will be prompted that starting up the License Manager could cause conflicts with any currently running DTM processes. Make sure to save any work that you may have done before updating your license. From here, you'll be able to click Activate Product Key and Activate Online. Now, just enter your key, mark it as New or an update to an existing key, and you're good to go. If your PC is not connected to the internet, please contact us directly and we'll walk you through the process for offline licensing. If your license key is already active, you can go back to the license manager and see details of your license. Important items to keep in mind are maintenance plan expiration date, number of connections or devices, and any protocol that you're licensed for. For more information on this or any other questions about DTM, please contact us using the information in the description below. Thank you.